वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू क्लास थ्री मैथ्स लेसन टू एडिशन सेशन टू पॉइंट सिक्स इन दिस सेशन वी विल डू वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल डू गो टू द चैनल पेज क्लिक ऑन प्ले लिस्ट देर यू विल फाइंड वीडियोज दैट विल कवर द इंटायर सिलेबस ऑफ मैथ्स फॉर क्लास थ्री फोर एंड फाइव एंड डोंट फर्गेट टू शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स लेट एस लुक एट एन एग्जाम्पल A school library has two, three, nine, four books. One, nine, eight, six new books were purchased. How many books are there now? So, to solve this question, let us read the first line again. A school library has two, three, nine, four books. So, the first statement that we'll write is books in library is equal to two, three, nine, four. Now, we will read the second line in the question. One, nine. Eight six new books were purchased, so we will write new books purchased is equal to one nine eight six. Again, back to the question: How many books are there now? So total number of books in the library. For that, we'll have to add the old books and the new books. Therefore, we will write total books is equal to two three nine four plus one nine eight six. In the next step, we will write the numbers one below the other and add them. When you add, you will get the answer as four three eight zero. After this, we will write answer four three eight zero books. Let us do one more example. Example two: A school has four one seven boys and three five nine girls. How many students are there in the school? Write the number sentence. Now in this question we have to write the number sentence they have asked us so you here you can't leave it at the answer alone let us look at the question again a school has 417 boys so we will write boys in school is equal to 417 then again back to the question and 359 girls so girls in school is equal to 359 then How many students are there in the school? So we have to write students in school is equal to. We have to add the number of boys and girls. So we will write four one seven plus three fifty nine. We'll write them one below the other and add them. You will get the answer as seven seven six. In the question, it is given write the number sentence. So you will write the number sentence like this. Four one seven plus three five nine is equal to seven seven six, and then you can write the answer seven seven six students. Now, students, let us do a worksheet to enhance our understanding. Dear students, attempting this worksheet is very important. It will help you to identify where you are likely to get stuck. Solve the entire worksheet and then only see the solutions. Question one: Ronit has five eighty nine post office stamps. His brother Arnav has four sixty four stamps. How many stamps do they have together? Question two: A shop has two three nine eight juice bottles and one eight seven three milk bottles. How many bottles are there in the shop? Question three: Vijay has four two six chocolates in his shop. Rima has two thirty five more chocolates in her shop than him. How many chocolates does Rima have in her shop? Write the number sentence. Question four: There are one forty nine black, two sixty eight silver, and three eighty five red colored cars in a parking lot. Find the total number of cars in the parking lot. So here, three types of cars they have given, and we have to find the total number. Question five: Indian cricket team has scored. Two thirty nine, two ninety three, and three zero eight runs in three matches. How many total runs were scored by the team in these matches? Solutions to worksheet two point six. Students, a gentle reminder here: pause the video, go back and see the questions. Make sure you have attempted all questions and found out the answer for each one of them. And only after attempting all the questions, go ahead and see the solutions. Only then will you get maximum benefit out of this video. Let us look at the solutions now. The first question was: Rohit has five eighty nine post office stamps. His brother Arnav has four sixty four stamps. How many stamps do they have together? So first information is this: 
Based on this, we'll have stamps with Rohit, 589. Then second information is this, stamps with Arnav. So we will write stamps with Arnav is equal to 464. Then we have to find out how many stamps do they have together. Total stamps is equal to sum of the number of stamps Rohit and Arnav have. For total, we will add the two numbers. Write them one below the other, add and find the answer. The answer is 1053. You will write answer 1053 stamps. Next one, a shop has 2398 juice bottles and 1873 milk bottles. How many bottles are there in the shop? So we will write juice bottles is equal to 2398. After that, we will write about the milk bottles. Milk bottle is equal to 1873. Then referring to the question, how many bottles are there in the shop? We will write total bottles is equal to sum of these two numbers. So we'll write it like this here. Then after that, we will write them one below the other and add. When you add, you will get the answer as 4271. You will write the answer as answer 4271 bottles. Question 3. Vijay has 426 chocolates in his shop. Reema has 235 more chocolates in her shop than him. How many chocolates does Reema have in her shop? Write the number sentence. So first sentence will be based on this information that whatever chocolates Vijay is having. We will write it as chocolates in Vijay's shop which is equal to 426. Then Reema has 235 more chocolates than Vijay. So we will write chocolate in Reema's shop is equal to 235 plus 426. We got the 426 from here. After that we have to calculate and find out the number of chocolates Reema has in her shop. We will write them one below the other and add. On adding, we get the answer as 661. So, you will write the answer 661 chocolates. And here you have to write in number sentence form. So, number sentence is 235 plus 426 is equal to 661. Question 4. There are 149 black, 268 silver and 385 red colored cars in a parking lot. Find the total number of cars in the parking lot. Oh, this is a nice question. If you like this question, give this video a like. And in the comment section, tell me which is your favorite question, this one or the next one about cricket. Getting back to the question again, we first write about the black cars. Black cars is equal to 149. Then we will write about the silver cars. Silver cars is equal to 268. Then finally the red cars. Red cars is equal to 385. After that, we will read the question again, the second part of it, which is find the total number of cars in the parking lot. So, we will write total cars is equal to 149 plus 268 plus 385. We have added the number of black, silver and red cars and written it in a line here. Now, we will write these three numbers, one below the other and find our answer. It comes out to be 802. We will write answer 802 cars. Question 5. Indian cricket team has scored 239, 293 and 308 runs in 3 matches. How many total runs were scored by the team in these matches? For this, we will write runs in first match 239, then runs in second match 293, runs in third match 308. Now we have to find the total runs. So we will add these three numbers. We will write it as total run scored is equal to 239 plus 293 plus 308. Then we will write them one below the other and add them. When you add you will get the answer as 840. So we will write answer 840 runs. This brings us to the end of the worksheet. Don't forget to like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. This channel is going to help you complete your entire syllabus of maths. Until we meet again, stay happy and keep learning.